water on me. Here we are at day two, and here's things that you don't think about when you're building a cabin in the middle of nowhere. All of this wood has to be hand delivered all the way through all that water to that boat and then from there motored in. So lots and lots and lots of work. Okay, now you're going to throw that around that tree and it's going to come back to you for real? Okay, if this works, I'm going to be highly impressed. Well, that didn't help. <laughs> well, you couldn't grab it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, you go any further, you're going to fall in. That'll even be a better video. <laughs> I told you this was worth videoing. <laughs> you are the man. <laughs> you are the man. So, <laughs> what we're doing is we're tying ropes to the two trees because the water is coming up again. See, it's almost over the over the land, and all of our floats are touching. So we have to tie guide wires, like you can see right there, to the two corners because by Wednesday we'll be floating again and this will allow our house to float up into the up 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 as the water goes up and then it'll come back down and sit right where it's supposed to and it's been raining for two days straight so we put up this nice little tent and according to the US Geological Survey this should be the last high water of the year I'm so glad because I hate it when we float because I have horrible 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 motion sickness. By the way, my husband is sporting some extremely sexy snake chaps, <laughs> which make his tiny look so baggy and cute. And packing the judge. <laughs> and packing, packing. Well, we saw our first water moccasin two days ago, and it tried its, tried its best to bite my husband. It, he, he ran at him twice before he went away. So we're being extra careful, but we're hoping that since it's so rainy today, we won't see any. Okay, I'm recording. Don't record me, I Jamie, have makeup on. And show me how to uh, work this little camera. And as you see, I'm down in the water, knee deep. Uh, water's coming back up again, so I just finished tying off a couple of guy ropes to the corners so that when it does float again, it can uh, lift off and come back in the same spot that's already been kind of prepared and leveled. So I can give you a shot underneath with the water flowing. All the cypress knees sticking up. But, see so we've got legs coming down. Cypress post. Knee. Yeah, it's a cypress knee right there. <laughs> cypress knee. That's the one that broke my buddy's foot when he jumped on it a few weeks ago. Um, right now we have, uh, what, 13 or 14 legs coming down. We'll put some more on it before we add more weight. And of course they're, they're braced and through bolted into these large beams that are double uh, in spaces triple two by eights screwed together so we've got four beams run the length of the house and then there's two by eights that are doubled as floor joists running the opposite direction of course there's the john boat tied up at the back and what i'm going to do right now we have huh <laughs> that's how i have a feeling that's going to be a nauseous video <laughs> yeah sorry for the camera work Right now, if you can tell, I have three on each side. I have six commercial grade, 1,000 pounds of buoyancy uh, floats. And what I'll be adding to this, Jamie has a picture she'll include down each side under this overhang here where that tree stump needs to be removed. I have two very long, actually 24 foot by 24 inch 
fiberglass pontoons that would go on the outside. And have a couple of additional smaller floats that will go under the middle. But our goal is to have about, uh, probably about 12,000 pounds of lift. Um, and ironically, we've, we've, uh, we've been underwater a lot this year. But for the last three or four years, the water had not been high enough to float this house. So for the most part, we live in on its legs. Um, but it's a good thing it floats because it's definitely been floating more than it's been on its feet this year so far. This is the deck up top. We're still, still decking. Back in the back, you see that big pile of 2x4s. We'll start doing the studded walls, uh, hopefully today. And of course, there's our trail through the woods that gets us in and out. And on the opposite side, you see the looking upstream in the river is flowing. Of course, we're on an island, so we have water flowing on each each side of us here. So we will uh, update you soon. So we're at the end of our workday, and we have one wall framed up, and this is going to be the exterior wall going onto the porch and um, unfortunately we still have a lot of daylight left but we ran out of screws and that's one bad thing about being so far away from civilization is when you run out of something you're pretty much done for the day so one wall framed up and then we'll be back on Wednesday next week to keep going God, did you hear that? sounds like somebody dying <laughs> we have our, our neighbors through the woods have a farm and so every once in a while you hear lovely farm animals but anyway that's what we have so far and thanks for watching